a lot of times when you look at a Puget Sound, it looks good, it's very pretty. But what is happening underneath the surface is really important. What is happening underneath, and how does the answer impact the spending of millions of King County tax dollars? Taking you on a Seattle-themed boat this morning where some of those questions are being answered. King 5's Erica Zuka reports on the state of the sound. When Puget Sound is peaceful, it can seem to have a life of its own. But communities beyond the coastline are deeply connected by personal and policy choices that require difficult research. Okay, coming aboard. With Captain Bob Kruger and his crew. We're in uh, about 290 meters of water here. We see research to help answer how climate change and the community on the surface impacts the aquatic one below it. Phytoplankton, microbiology parameters. These scientists are using chemistry to help solve those mysteries. To make sure that things survive and thrive in the waters of the Puget Sound. On a characteristically cool, rainy Seattle day, we join them on research vessel Sound Guardian. Seattle traffic, Sound Guardian. Every two weeks, oceanographers sail to stations across the Sound and Central Basin. Going down. To drop instruments at a list of locations, including near wastewater treatment plant outfalls. The Sound Guardian's tools give specifics about what they're seeing. It's a super accurate temperature sensor. It's accurate to like 10, one ten thousandth of a degree. But data is just data, unless it's used to navigate future policy choices, according to King County Department of Natural Resources and Parks Director Christy True. It really becomes um, a core baseline to inform all of our decisions, especially where do we want to invest our dollars? What's going to make the biggest difference? Is it more wastewater treatment? Is it more control of stormwater? Should we be better stewards of the chemicals that we use every day? Among these scientists, there's a sense of mission to answer those questions correctly. From Puget Sound, Eric Zuko, King 5 News.